as I stand to support the bill which has already been implemented by my leader Mamta Banerjee in West Bengal. West Bengal is the only state in the country which has a female chief minister, I'm sorry to say, in spite of Bharatiya Janata Party having their rule in 16 states. At the moment, we don't have any woman chief minister there. We are actually delighted to witness the realization of our leader Mamta Banerjee's vision where women's rightful entitlements are being recognized and initiatives are being taken to uphold the vision throughout the country. She passionately advocated for the implementation of women's reservation all her life, right from 1996 when it was tabled first. And she was the member of the committee headed by the then honorable member, Srimati Gita Mukherjee, trying to argue for the passing of the bill, possibly keeping in mind the sage Swami Vivekananda, who said, na jagile bharot lalona, e bharot jagena jagena. It is the awakening of women of India which awakes India towards development. Bengal has boldly demonstrated and spearheaded a paradigm shift leading the entire nation towards progress. Notably, our leaders in the assembly, we have more women than anywhere else in the country. We have more women ministers along with Mamta Banerjee. And in the Lok Sabha, right from 2014, we've been having more than 33% reservation within the party, so to say, without any forceful reservation being implemented through any parliamentary procedure or through the election commission. At the moment, in this August House of Lok Sabha, Trinamool Congress, All India Trinamool Congress has nearly 40% of women members and also in the Rajya Sabha. This is what Srimati Mamta Banerjee has done. She is the only chief minister, like I said, and she's been implemented, implementing different programs for empowering the women, for empowering women towards education, for empowering women towards better health and towards better administrative positions. It is ironic to note that despite the seemingly professed affection towards women demonstrated by the NDA Alliance today, just six months before the general elections, none of the 16 states has a woman chief minister. What took them so long? Why wasn't this bill bought in 2014? Why just now, just before the election? What are they trying to prove to the people? Is it like a gimmick? Is it like pulling out a rabbit from their hat and placing it before the country? The government has raised many questions against themselves. Why is the delimitation linked with the reservation? It's a sinister move. And we'll have more members in parliament from states which have failed in population control and poor women empowerment. Rather than allocating vast sums of money towards construction of structures and altering names of citizen nations, I would urge my colleagues in BJP to prioritize transformation of the mindset. It is imperative that they demonstrate genuine respect for women by aligning their actions with their words. Moreover, it is crucial that they take appropriate action against all individuals who are harming the women, showing disrespect towards the women. The golden girls of the country who got us medals have been sexually harassed and they were in Jantar Mantar. But the Petra sits here today, Bridge Bhushan Singh, who has not been brought to book. So if you are really interested in taking care of the women towards betterment and progress, then why don't you take action against the perpetrators? Why don't you take action against those people who have been molesting and killing women in Hathras, killing women in Unnao? Little Asifa was stoned to death in Jammu. And the wrestlers, like I said, they have been manhandled, molested. <coughs> I would also like to bring here the plight, the economic non-empowerment of the 100-day laborers 
who have job cards. They hold the job cards all over the country through the National Rural Employment Guarantee Act. There are many women there who work in that field, but their payment has not been released yet. That is also insulting the women laborers. So are the researchers, the scientific workers of ISRO and IITs being denied their salaries. I have requested Honorable Minister here in the last session that they are not getting their stipends. The research workers, the scientists are not getting, the women researchers of IIT Kharagpur are not getting their salaries, not getting their stipend. Don't shout me down. It is a fact. Go yes, and look through the books. The job card holders are not getting their salary. The job card holders are not getting their salary. We know that. And also, in our state, the job card holders, the poor laborers, in the IIT Kharagpur, in ISRO, the women scientists, even after sending the Chandrayaan, they are not being paid their salary. So you have to respect women. आपको बोलना है क्या? अभी अभी रुक जाओ एक मिनट उनके बाद एक मिनट उनके बाद प्लीज उनके बाद हम चलेर बो हम चलेर बो I would like to quote sir I would like to quote Bengali poet known all over the world. Vidrohi Kobi Nojrul said, Vishya Jaki Chu Mohan Srishti Chup Chiro Kollan Kaur Adhektar Koriya Che Nari Adhektar Nor. The women work very hard in every field. They should be respected. And none other than Vishya Kobi Ramindranath Thakur. What did he say? He said, Jodhi Rakho Parshe Shankate Shanshaye Shammati Dao Jodhi Krothi No Brote like just now my sister here, Kanimoji was saying, we want equal opportunity, we want equal respect, we want to participate in nation building as equals, not by looking down upon us, because we are equals and we can perform, provided we get support in education, support in healthcare system. What is the budgetary allocation for women's health? This government should tell me and the whole house that what is the extra budgetary allocation for reproductive health of women in the country. The women bear children, men don't. So women should require this extra budgetary allocation for their reproductive health. Do this first before bringing the bill. You have tabled the bill. This bill should have come in 2014. When you came, if you are so much interested for the welfare of the women, not before the election, like a gimmick pulling out a rabbit from your hat. Do I believe this bill? Do I believe this house? Do I believe that government here? Or I believe their IT cell chief here. The IT cell chief, he is quoted as saying in 2010, Sonia ji holding the nation to ransom just to fulfill her agenda to see women reservation bill through. Will her MP stand up to her? Again he says, again in 2010 he says, by pushing the women reservation bill, Congress has created it, another constituency for itself. This one transcends caste and religion. He again says, when we should be talking and moving away from reservation of all kinds, we have a new wave demanding reservation movement. This is the IT cell chief of the Bharatiya Janta Party. You can have it. You again have this. We in certain states have reservation for women in the local bodies. Has it helped the cause of women? It questions whether the women in the local bodies has helped the administration. This is, yes. And he's always being rewarded. He's always maligning everybody in the opposition. So this, I can lay it on the table. This is from the IT cell chief of Bhartiya Janta Party. They have always been looking down on women. So we are equals. Women are equals. We actually are better than men, I should say, in many respects. Because we look after the home, the home, and children. So this bill has been first brought in 2009. But it couldn't have 
passed at that time for whatever reason. But my leader, Mamta Banerjee, has implemented 40% in the state of West Bengal from All India Trinamool Congress. We are representing here. So I would like to quote the famous boxer Cassius Clay, who said, catch me if you can. Catch me if you can, all of the political parties here. Catch Mamta Banerjee and AITC and make it 40%. Not 33% because we in Trinamool Congress get that much respect of being here in great number and also in the state assembly where important portfolios like the health, like the law, like the women's uh, empowerment, everything is industry is being held by ladies. The home is in the hand of a lady. So why don't you respect women and give them their dues is the question. And the rest of the country shows so much of atrocity against women where the NCRB's report says Kolkata registered the least number of rape cases and out of these 19 major cities of the country, Kolkata has the lowest crime rate against women whereas the other states have shown the other states from data from NCRB, I'm not saying. It shows that in Uttar Pradesh, 56,000 cases followed by Rajasthan, 40,000 cases of molestation, and in Maharashtra, 39,000 and more cases. So all the states ruled by Bharatiya Honorable Janta Party. Honorable member, please conclude. Molestation against women, but it is only in Bengal that women are safe. So to keep us safe, this should be implemented and not treated as a gimmick. Thank you, sir.